more like a bodyguard than an assassin. Is that your primary function? Confirmation. It is a very difficult task indeed. That I've kept Masters Benico and Vortena alive, despite their high-risk activities, is my greatest achievement. The two of them seem close. Deflection. I am not programmed to assess or discuss the emotional matters of meat bags under my protection. <laughs> uh -huh. Interesting. Excuse me? Oh my god. Ancient swamp. Where's its eyes? Yo, is it not gonna move? Oh, it's moving. I wish I had that move that my trooper has that where if you shoot him with an electrical like net, it'll, it'll make him slow and burn them as they walk. But I don't have that. I'd love to. He's almost dead though, so. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. Escaping that prison was only my latest misadventure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Flattery. The skills you have demonstrated thus far, coupled with the stories told by Master Benico, suggest that you are quite adept at ensuring your own survival. Enthusiasm. I look forward to eliminating any opponent foolish enough to attempt your murder regardless. Thank Resumption. You. Shall we continue? <laughs> yeah. Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Fuck off, Adobe. There they are. Hmm. Huh. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? Where could it be from, then? He doesn't overthink things. Haha! <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is? Thick hull. I see a few good spots for weapons. Some kind of combat frigate, I guess. This is the Gravestone! This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won! Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. What the you hell? You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. But it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkyria. Maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago. Nobody knows the details of the whole war. But every story talks about the Gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. Do you think this is some kind of setup? No, not exactly. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. 
caution is advised. We'll split up, deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. if they didn't make a safe landing. We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. <laughs> Sister. I didn't like his answer. Even Arcan Arcanine <laughs> doesn't like his her his sister's brutality. And I think she's the main focus in the next expansion coming out actually. So this ship has been here Sadescu. for a thousand years more. Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition, considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated, but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it, and every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. So if we defeat Arkin, the Eternal Fleet isn't a problem anymore. So long as the throne goes to someone other than his sister, yes. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years worth of explanations. That's right. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. Let's get those parts first. Might take a while to install them. Yeah. Ship this old, there's no telling. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Collect the fuel cell. Bracers and a thousand credits. Damn, how much credits do I got? It's destiny. Oh. I ditch all these parts before we crash. We find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. I didn't come out here to philosophize. I just want to get off this planet. The sooner, the better. Can't disagree with that too much. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, real is rain. I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. I killed three people. I grew up people. on school. Served in the military. I captained a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. One of the last ships without an all-droid crew. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just thought you should hear it from me. Something must have happened to make you desert your post. What was it? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. I guess that's how Arkan operates. Which is why he has to go. One more thing, as long as we're being honest. When you risked your life to shut that generator down, you showed me that you're someone I can count on. I want to take Arkan down. But we don't have to take down all of Zakul with him. I'm glad to know you understand that too. Too many innocent people have suffered already. I'm not going to add to that. Thank you. Why don't I give you an optional flirt? Let's I don't want to. Stuff <laughs> back to the gravestone. Oh, cool. Oh, good. Salutation. 
It is a pleasure to see you again so soon, Masters. I've encountered minimal resistance in my patrol. Minimal? Reassurance. Only one Sky Trooper and three local predators with poor survival instincts. <laughs> Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. <laughs> He's such a such a guy. <laughs> All right, what's up, Grill? Welcome back. Did you find what you were looking for? Mm -hmm. More or less. I'll see what I can do. Shall we? Then we won't last long without more food and water. Let's go. Okay, just wanted me to choose which order to do it, no matter what. When Darth Mar and I faced Valkorion, we knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyast, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truce. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. That makes sense with Isotope 5. The super mineral or isotope. Number two. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkham's forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. Damn. And three. How did it end? The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. What about Sith intelligence? I'm no longer part of the organization. But I know that most of its assets were wiped out in the fighting. From what I've heard, Empress Asina prefers to rely on technological surveillance rather than direct intervention. I'm not sure what, if any, reconstruction has taken place. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held. But that will not last forever. My little barrier I made on accident. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. So the Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. 
The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who rules the Empire now? Darth Asina was the only Dark Council member left standing. All others died or disappeared in the chaos. Without opposition, she declared herself Empress of the Sith. And the Republic? Suresh remains in power, though she no longer holds the title of Chancellor. The Republic has limits to their ruler's terms, but her replacement is a mere puppet. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkhan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. What does Arkhan use the tribute for? Zakul doesn't seem to need much. A question no one else seems to ask or answer, not in any detail. Zakul's empire spans a sizable portion of wild space, but not enough to consume the resources they're acquiring. I've been working to learn the answer myself. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth, and HK. As long as you're here, there's nothing we can't handle. The feeling's mutual. It truly is a relief to see you again. Is that why you went to so much trouble to rescue me? Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. That's true. But... There is something else. I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. Fuck. God damn it. I might as well tell the truth. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then... While I was frozen, I saw things. Dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Ziost. I don't think he's trying to control me. Not directly, anyway. He was trying to convince me to work with him. Whatever he's doing, we can be sure that he's always trying to deceive us somehow. I believe in you, and I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. What'd she do? Request Just punch my arm. rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, masters. I require assistance. Strange. We should hurry. Yeah. It's weird. He sound HK usually is like content, knows what's up. I've got you. But content. I don't know if it's even the right word, but it seems like he's a little trouble. Rendezvous beacon. Rendezvous beacon. Rendezvous beacon is what I said. Okay. Save us! HK, explain. Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They've requested our help, 
in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We're repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. The path ahead of us is not a safe one. They might be better off here. No one could be better off here. Yeah. <laughs> And return to the butthole. You are much I know I am HK. Ugh. What's up, HK? What do you want? Oh. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then. Eighties montage go. I'm not editing this to make it sound like this. This is actually happening. <laughs> the fuck train has no brakes. <laughs> it was sub Nova Dwarf. Thanks for the host. I was not kidding about an eighties montage. It's actually doing it. Thanks for the host, Nova, Jenna, whatever I shall call you. <laughs> Some Mr. Is. Damn, that's loud. Oh, fuck. Jesus. <laughs> Sup, Mr. Is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. He's just having the time of his life. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh shit. Oh my god. Thanks again, Nova. How was your stream? Jesus. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? HK, you're too much, dude. Nostalgia. He's the same as he has or ever was. Is 
the Valkorian? Investigate strange sounds. And I'm gonna do something weird. It's this way. Oh, come on. Ugh. Ooh, I'm zooming in now. What the fuck? Okay. I'm still surprised when I said cue the 80s montage. It did a fucking 80s montage. I am a filmmaker at heart. You can tell when shit happens. What is up? Dark Sanctuary. That's gonna be fun. Should I walk down it? Do this? Oh shit, I'm not gonna be able to see everything, am I? Fuck. What the hell? How do you not know this is in the ship? Whoa. I take it you have questions. questions. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. I thought you were just a dream. Fuck. I assure you, I am real, as is my intent to see you flourish. Now that you know I don't know what, what I'm pressing. children are capable of, you are better prepared for the trials our partnership will bring. They're persistent, but they don't scare me. You do not need to prove anything to me. I am more aware of your potential than you are. We will face many challenges together. But when the time comes, you will only need to ask. An unlimited power will course through you. Loot. There we go. Okay. Jeez. Watch the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Oh damn. I don't even use a pistol on my guy. Find this man playing master. <laughs> That's just the first way. They have more on the way. I'll head them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need. Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. <laughs> I'll get a cerebral. <laughs> I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help cough. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. Really no damage then? Oh shit, Sky Troopers. We are surrounded. Yet I killed a bunch of them. There are too many. We have to keep fighting. Hey, you two need a hand out there? No. We have help. You what? Whoa, what the fuck? Who's that? Who's that? The Almighty Keck. Who is this? Who dat? Who who this chick? No, that's her mom! Dude, that's that's uh, Valen's mom from the trailer. Oh, shit. Lana, 
No, I shut the fuck You're up, Riddick. <laughs> you got one of the knights to switch sides. No. Not all of us blindly follow Arkin. That's his mommy. No, I don't, Astro. <laughs> Stop it. More resistance, knights. That's gotta be his mommy. It's <laughs> why am I saying mommy? Oh, By knights. Justice, we have the outlander. I do hope you're up to fighting your own, Senya. My issue isn't with them. But if they're going to stand in my way... Is that their mom? I see you found another pragmatist. Stow the chatter. Prove you can fight. I'll flirt with her. I'll flirt with both of them. I already did with, uh, Lana. Dreon Atris. Well, if I don't kill him... Valen will. So, might as well. <laughs> Thank god someone's using the emotes. Kill the others. Get out of the here. black Save part of their face. Oh, is it just shadow? What? I'm back, Daddy. Oh my what God! An opportunity. <laughs> I'm not a dad. You're outmatched. Death is all but certain for your Sith friend. I could save her. I only require the briefest moment of control. Accept my help, or watch her die. Choose quickly. Time has not stopped. Fuck. Do I... I guess I gotta trust him. Take care of it. Gladly. She fucking dies anyway. Don't tell me Was she. That him. Oh, thank God, never the mind. Power at your disposal. I was coming to help, but looks like you didn't need it. Is the gravestone ready for takeoff? As far as I can tell. I could have just looks done like it myself. Let's go. No, wait. Where's Senya? Excuse me. Where's who? Here I am. Let's move out. Whoa! Wait a minute. Hang on. She's your help. If you think I'm letting that piece of work on my ship, you're out of your interjection. Many more hostiles are approaching. Permission to defend with extreme prejudice. <laughs> no more fighting. We must leave the cool. I'll prep the engines. Be ready to move. I'm ready now. The ship will never pull itself up from the muck. We'll have to give it a push. With? Firing up the engines. I hope. We can do this. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Thank you. Uh, yeet. <laughs> I'm moving a giant flagship, that is crazy. They're doing it. They're actually doing it. Can you believe it? Observation. The ship is rising. Conclusion. Belief is not required. Glad you worked that out. <laughs> Astro, please. Now get in here so we can finally get moving. I got new mail too. Sweet. Sweet with a capital T. Oh, wow. How about that? You didn't My mess up the YouTube, you're fine. <laughs> I'm just trying not to react right now. Uh, how did that? My gravestone can move. Uh, this is my ship. Impressive. What's our Where destination? Are we getting? Somewhere safe. You said that Incoming. really fast. Dropping out of hyperspace. It's, it's a lot. That's the fleet. The eternal fleet. Shit. They aren't firing. Not yet. Ugly ship. What are you waiting for? 
He knows. He knows it's the ship that can destroy the fleet. He doesn't want anything. Yeah. And we're on fire. That hyperdrive. Lana, work the shields, and we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. YouTube voice. I'm probably gonna cut this part out because it's just combat af uh, afro. <laughs> I can have a random cut of I got the magic in me, and then it goes straight to the next cutscene, like right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking is up. There's a capital ship near the oh, I almost said that Astro. Not. I did not say that. Good. Now hit it. That's a lot of fucking ships once you think about it. Holy crap. Is it like a Death Star? What is it doing? Damn, son! It's the Kylo Ren uh Star Killer ship. Oh it fucks. It down. Wait, five targets. Ten. I can't keep up. It's real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? Alright, let's get out of here. Damn, dude. That's some shit. Or some ship. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot. So that's the gravestone. It's as powerful as they say. Bye, young. Have fun with whatever you're gonna do. Good night. Everything stands at risk. So cool, the throne, my vision for the galaxy. All because we let the Outlander slip away. I'm not. Blaming you. I didn't think you were. Father held us all back. You more than any. Such raw power. And yet you're still spreading your wings. Finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. So, what now? She's gonna kill him at some now. point. With either sprinkle. Uh... No, no, no. What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni cannons fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Yeah, we are. Should be able to make it to asylum, but let's not hold our breath. We need a better mechanic. We're going to an asylum. Who's being committed? <laughs> that kind of asylum. <laughs> asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. I don't want to hear it. You're done arguing, both of you. Ooh, Daddy Vicious Man. If anybody needs me, I'll be. Somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Huh. <laughs> Not well with what I've seen. What the fuck, Afro? Absolutely. I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. 